almost two years, about. The stigma of being mentally ill when you have no rights, and as well as being homeless is like 10 times the problem. And then being a woman, being gay, it's like, it's like overwhelming because people are always trying to change you and alter who you're, who you're not. Superman! I'm Cowboy! Oh, Superman! I love I'm your Superman. I'm B.A. Black. Right on. My father asked me, how old am I? One day I was four and I told him I was three years old. I simply did not know that you changed another age. So he hit me with blunt object, and I have a scar on my forehead. But here is just saying, love yourself. And then the colors just represent what beauty. I mean, it was abstract and all, because that's what it is. What's life is abstract, because you go through so much. And, and you put in, what you put into it is what you get out of it. But it's not always the case, because you could put in so much, and then people could destroy it in seconds. I got the cell phone on Wednesday. I just want to keep in touch with my family. Some people I call over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And my mom, it's her phone, she never answers it. Kojak! Hi! So I'm going to go to the Women's Center, pick up my check. Uh, well, I'm not my back to my normal uh, amount, $870. I might just go to the movies or go dancing or... Maybe get something to eat. So if I get a, I get a check like that, how much they gonna be? How much they Not a lot. They didn't give you a lot? No. 95. Let me see. Where's your money? You need yeah. to call them people at the mental illness and ask them where the rest of your money is. Or they gonna send you another check. I don't wanna be homeless today. I wanna go have a normal meal like everybody else. And I want to... Have fun. That's more important than finding out what happens to the rest of my money. Taco uh, salad with pollo. Mmm. Oi, 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 hey. I'm a homeless lady without a home. I'm a person without a look. I'm somebody living all alone. I have Quander. I have a direct deposit here, and I wish to know if I have my money now, but I don't know. I'm just simply hoping it is. You think it'll come on Monday? Oh, okay. Thank you. I hate these people. <laughs> she said Mom, Monday, probably. Monday, I'll get my money. Was that my check? My little check came on uh, two days before Friday and I should have not spent it. It's me, you're the devil. You're leading me astray. So why or don't the you hills stop and drinking mountains so and to you'll be a rocky okay. grave. Okay, now what we want is Miranda Moriarty. L.A. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things about this bad experience that I've been having mm -hmm. in downtown LA is I've met so many interesting people. And hey, like you, for example. Friend. Friends are slow to anger. They don't get jealous. They don't hate you for what you think. Um, they're very helpful without taking from you. If you give something, it's from the heart. If I would give something, it's from the heart. My name is Cowboy, and they call me Londa. Londa's my birth name. It's it a pretty name. Thank you. There's, there's uh, places down there on, on 7th and 6th Street in between there. And the street just sweep out the door or go to a trash can. And, and wow. So I'll actually find a bunch of them all together, and you make like a couple of grams, and that's like, what, 50 bucks? That's great. Um, I woke up out the street. Then I thought, let me look in the garbage can. <laughs> Big dumpster, I went dumpster diving, and I found these. So the idea was to see how much they were. I was just curious. Hollywood, ah, uh, you know, no? 
Is that? No, I just said wood. <laughs> Bye. Don't they don't say bye, it's a soul here. Uh, do you buy cards? Uh, actually we're not buying anything right now. Oh okay. I had to like Babe Ruth and all that stuff, so um where is another place I can go? Uh there's actually another place down the street, but they're closed on Sundays. Uh so there are no more other places open. No, I'm not around here. Okay. What a waste. I'm homeless. I was wondering if I could have a memory of you guys. Yeah, go ahead, girl. Hold this. There you go. Yeah, that's the girl. Thank you. Hi, uh, I uh, was wondering. I have baseball cars, football cars, and um, basketball cars. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you're interested in looking at them. No, we don't buy that kind of stuff here. No? Oh, no. yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Have a good day. Yes, you too. Pose a picture with the first homeless person in Hollywood. Okay, give me, let me call my guy. Bobby, I have a lady here that has a bunch of older baseball black cards. Knees. Some are signed. So I was going to send her down to you guys. Probably something David might want to look at. Um, yeah, let me see this. Yeah, sure. Uh, he's not there today. It's a holiday, so he's in tomorrow. But uh, David at Star World, uh -huh. half a block down, Star World. Well, I talked to Gerald. Um, to uh, uh, he sent me here because I have um, cards to sell. Oh, okay. You want to check back in a half an hour? He should be here. His name do you is think? David. You think he'll be interested? What kind I have of cards are I have they? signature ones and also what kind? Uh, baseball, baseball, oh, baseball cards. No. Baseball, basketball. No. Uh, sports cards. No. No. Oh, okay. Um, for baseball stuff, sports stuff, he recommends people to go to Beverly Hills Baseball Card Shop. It's on Robertson and Santa Monica. Oh, oh shit. crushed in my heart and soul. My soul has been torn apart, scattered through the winds of time. Endless time, all I have is time, walking on the cold concrete slabs of rock. In a tent, in the grass, in the cold, in the rain, in the heat, so hot it melts my lips but I can't even form a kiss wishing someone to return it. Tell me to learn language and the same will do. Tell me to walk, walk and I'll walk a thousand miles to you. Go tell me Um, at the downtown women's center here in Los Angeles. And so one day you, she told me, Sylvia, I'm gonna kidnap you. I said, well, what does that mean? So come with me. And, and uh, we set a time to meet each other over there in San Julian. <laughs> oh, I stink so bad in this elevator. <laughs> Woohoo! Breathe. 
Oh my god, we're going home. Well, our partial <laughs> home. home is with you, baby. Yeah, we make home everywhere we go. Yeah, no. One side and I go just No, I got it, I got it. Probably my, my son is there. Oh, your son? Yeah, Jonathan is there. He's very talented. He's like a prodigy. I'm so proud of him. Um. Oh, just chop off the thumb and it'll be extra meat for him. I was working for how many, like 15 years almost, uh, doing hair. And uh, just one day, you know, as I told you earlier, I, I couldn't do it. I was so uh, tired and my body just felt wrong. You know, I've been in different shelters and uh, I live in the car for about six months. Yeah, that's the way I end up here asking my 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 ex-husband, you know, if I could stay here. So I want to have experience with Sarah, my 17-year-old daughter, that lives here. So she's going to have a boy. It's like a hope. I think the baby is a sign of the new thing coming for everybody. You know, after... A lot of years of uh, struggling, pain, and I think it's like a sign of the new, new stage in our lives. So I think it's going to be a lot of happiness here. This message will self-destruct in 60 seconds. <laughs> 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 what can I do? You have no choice. Yeah. You're going to marry me. Well, I keep saying, where's the ring? I told you, I am the ring. I sit on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> you don't turn around.